All right, guys. <clears throat> I we are back pretty much. So this is gonna be game number two, or this is gonna be the first game in Group B now for the Coca-Cola OSL. Um, now again, this is gonna be part of the series that I'm just gonna be going through every Korean event that I feel necessary. Uh, in in my spare time and every there will be a new video every single day that I cast now of course if you just want to go view the Korean VOD it's all good every every VOD that I'm going through is just directly linked through Liquipedia it's a little difficult to man <laughs> maneuver around the spoilers um, but it, it is possible and I have done it so tonight's game is gonna be it was played on June 15th of 2001 so again it's about a 10 year old game it's gonna be V Gundam versus Reach here now Reach uh, made it to the Hall of Fame now V for Gundam or Gu <laughs> you could also call him Gundam style for all we care um, I'll look it up on uh, Team Liquid right now but I don't think so uh, Let's see here. Uh, it's probably under. Uh, let me just look up Hall of Fame. Actually, it's probably the easiest thing. And um, it's actually quite annoying because I, I believe every single Coca-Cola OSL they have this intro. I, I don't want to skip it uh, because it's a nice intro and it just gives me time to talk about stuff like a like a live cast would be. But I can just do it for VODs. Um. Anyway, so. I'm just looking at this. I know, I know. Reach got it, and also, I also didn't uh, fail to mention. Also, Go Rush also was in the Hall of Fame. So that would Boxer versus Go Rush um, last game. Um, now again, these are played back to back to each other um, because they're played on the same day, and they would uh, probably go groups A, B, C, D um, in that order. And they're all played on June 15th. So uh, just keeping that in mind. Now I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. Uh, What's his name? I'm not seeing V Gundam. So we'll see it. Um, the map is going to be Neo um, Hall Valhalla. Neo Hall Valhalla. Really hard to say. So pretty much what you need to know about this map is that I... I, beca uh, I didn't initially say this, but uh, prior to this, I was... Alright, well, here are the players anyway. So in the bottom left, um, going in that order, it's going to be the awesomely awesome Protoss, it's going to be our awesome Reach, and then the Zerg will also be yellow in this group, and then there's the Marine and then V Gundam. Now, I can't tell them apart because I, I, I again, this is like the, f this is the first Korean event that I'm sitting down and going to enjoy. Like, I'm going to watch through each and every game and yeah so this is gonna take a while I mean like if I do one game a day I mean each of these groups have like seven games um, w with tiebreakers apparently um, and uh, here are some stats right here 18 year old reach um, at this time of course so he's like 28 now uh, and from team OOPS or oops and again, I don't really know what's with these random body shots, but like as they're not wearing shirts. But anyway, age 22, uh, f from Vinara team. I've never heard of these clans before, and V Gundam. All right, so again, I also just don't know how these players stack up because yeah, but they really go in depth. Um, I don't know what these commentators are saying, but definitely speaking, this 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 Coca-Cola OSL. They have been, they've been definitely like giving, um, how do I say, they talk a lot before the game actually starts. Uh, and of course I, only, if only if my um, school offered, Ch uh, not Chinese, uh, Korean, then I could tell you what possibly what they're saying. But because of that, uh, Th I am only partially fluent in Chinese, so that doesn't really help us here at all. With that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Now again, uh, talking about Neo, this this is the first time, guys. Neo Hall Valhalla, is, this is the first VOD that this map has been used on. I just want to keep you guys in the loop with that. This is the first time... This is the very first in history that this map was played on. Now, 
pretty much what you need to know about this map is it's called a semi-island map. Uh, pretty much it's like your main base is an island, the rest of the map isn't. Pretty much. Um, I'm sure they'll show like a picture of it soon. Uh, that's generally how the um, Coca-Cola OSL operates right now. So I'll be interested. I will definitely be interested how this goes down. Um, now the group stages, uh, uh, I don't even know how the group stages work. Okay, so here's the map anyway. Um, now if you look at this, uh, all the bases have their own naturals, but again, they're pretty open, and uh, you can't like quickly expand on here. And the reason why this is favor as favored as a Terran map is because one base Terrans are much much better than say one base Protoss or one base Zerg. This is definitely not a Zerg favorite map at all. So, yeah, as you can tell, like in the bottom, like left hand base, like it's so weird the expansions. Like you, where you take a third base is so bizarre if you don't just take another main base as a, as a whole. And another characteristic about this map that you may not know is that the main base has ten mineral patches. So it's a little bit leisurely. That it's not going to be as much of economy as if you were to say Fighting Spirit FE. But it's not eight mineral patches per one base that you might be um, thinking about. <laughs> and I still think the guy that's speaking in the pink shirt is still sketchy looking. I I don't know about you guys, but in my honest opinion, this guy looks very sketchy. Um, and also, I, I I just find it funny that all of the like the entire soundtrack for the Togo Cola OSL is Sonic Adventure original soundtrack. I I just find it funny. I I don't know why, but uh, very funny. And do, 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 do. and literally, that's about everything regarding this. Now, I believe there's some interesting statistic about V Gundam that I saw. Yes, um, WC he he came in second place for WC to 2001. Uh, which is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Let me look up WCG 2001. Um, I just want to know the dates between this. So, this was... So, this was, like, like WCG 2001 was, like, literally at the beginning of the... No, wait. Actually, actually, no. That's actually going in the future, because, uh, WCG... <laughs> WCG was actually, um after this so it's not actually so I'm actually going way too far ahead so that's kind of the interesting hopefully when I get into like 2003 2005 ones hopefully I can go back in time but here we go the game looks like it's gonna be g going and uh, I believe it's gonna be showing reach first uh, I could be wrong yeah that should be reach yep that's reach right there um <coughs> looks I, I still I, I just can't take these guys seriously with with their get ups <coughs> Imagine if they wore this stuff now. <coughs> and that is now going to be a uh, Gundam. And their headphones are just look weird. <laughs> but also, if you notice, though, th they're on the main stage and they're using flat monitors. They're still pretty thick, but they're they're flat monitors. And something that I've always was scared about in a LAN is that if someone was like really pissed off like and they're just sitting across a table from you and just absolutely destroyed you like what's stopping them from just coming over there and punching you in the face like there's no security at these things there's not gonna be like super tight security I don't think at, at esports events I just don't I just don't know anyway cuz like you go you go for like the the high the, ha the handshake GG and then all of a sudden BAM right in the face uh, it wouldn't be good for your PR. And so spawning at the 12 o'clock as the orange Protoss, it will be none other than Reach. And then making this a TVP, it will be the purple Terran. At the 3 o'clock, it will be Gundam. Or Gundam style. Uh, I don't really know why that video became so popular. It, 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 Gundam style, that, that music video is just the most ridiculous like I, I honestly just don't know why it's like the most popular K-pop song because I've seen by far more intimidate more crazy case K-pop songs than that has but anyway so we'll, we'll have to see again guys I am this is completely new to me and 
I apologize for that, but I have to start somewhere in order to get this analysis going right here. And God, uh, I forgot to do the most important thing. Uh, next, next game. <laughs> I'll have to remind myself. Um, but what I was trying to say is that I'm gonna because Brood War has the same in-game time as say real time that I can actually just go and wow, I just got really I just got sidetracked right there. I don't even know what I was gonna say. So I'm gonna shut up and see. So it's it uh, things are looking fairly st oh that's what I'm talking about, the time. The time is like um so I can get like in game in game time sense. I, I just need to be able to start my timer on my phone and that will just go on and then I can figure out what's going on in game. It, it, for timings wise. <laughs> because um as you can tell there's no APM of players and there's no Yeah, there's no APM of the players and stuff and it looks like mech is going to be the choice for for Gundam right here and we get a nice little shot of that uh, booth area. What is that? I, I I don't know. We have a cyber core going down. I mean, you got the gas cyber core. I mean, this is actually the most standard build. Uh, the only thing though is like again, it's an island map that you can't like to you can't two gate goon on this map. So there, and you can't really you can't really two fact your opponent either. So I don't. I it, it's kind of reminding me of, like what a CTF build would be on uh, Huang Tong Biol, just because. That's like that would be I think that's the definition of like a semi island map because you have two back doors But they're not immediately open uh, You have two ramps and they're kind of hard to break down because you have to kind of intentionally do that or your opponent has to mine out a 56 mineral back door, but I think both players are just gonna take up to draw ship tech But oddly enough though we have Gundam going for a two fact which Is interesting it, just because it, it in my era Two facting is like an all in. It's supposed to do a good amount of damage, and I, I, without dropship tech, it, you know what it might even be. It might be like a two fact that he may get dropship for, but I, I don't, I can't see the reason to go two fact. I mean, he's even getting the machine shop for it, and there goes. Uh, well, it's gonna be an academy. We'll have to find out. I mean, this. I'm not gonna say like this is completely unorthodox, but the academy is an odd twist. At least I think it is. I don't think you go too fact with an academy. But, um, I don't know. Support is coming out as well. So Reavers can do a good amount of harass on this map. If he chooses to do that. And another good shot of, of uh, Reach right here. And I think I really need to start getting an overlay for this, but... The only issue with overlays for Korean VODs is that they're, they do that transition from Brood War to, uh, to, their, to the actual faces of the players. And if you can't tell, there's kind of like this black box, this kind of like, you get like an X amount of pixels that are going around the actual Brood War game versus the act, like, um, you have this like black ring around it. And my overlay would not work with that. I would have to con condense it a little bit, and uh, I'd literally have to change. O I would have to change scenes every time that they did like a three-second shot face of. Uh, that. And what is with <laughs> getting a little sneaky right there by Reach right there? Just kind of going back and forth with a shuttle, nice shuttle micro at least. And all right, so where is that shuttle going? Oh, well, there's a base up there. So is he going to expand the top left? Okay. It's interesting. Uh, it'll be hard for Gundam to figure that timing out. Uh, but can he deal with it? Can he, can he do it, actually? And why would he drop two of them? Like, I believe you can't actually send... I guess they're going to be scouting probes. They have the Reaver in the mineral line. Uh, why? Why would you? And, and he, he in a machine shop. Uh, wow, this is like so bizarre. 
So he's actually gonna put, he's gonna lift off both factories and put them on the low ground. And is he gonna go for like a push? But like, what can you do? I mean, it's an island map. Uh, I mean, it's not all water. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a bonus. And oh, look at this. Gundam's gonna find the proxy barracks. I'm not really sure what the proxy barracks is intentionally doing. And he'll, he'll drop off a goon and I guess kill it off. A medic pops out and, and apparently it's just gonna die. Well, all right. And look at that intense fate by Gundam right now. It's like, I gotta save the medic. She's very important. Too bad they can't heal themselves. Can he save the medic? Uh, he's not sending... Oh, the medic dies. Aww. And the goon didn't do anything. I guess he killed off two bio in the end result, but... But I mean, like, the more the more I play Brood War, the more I'm like, well, like, if you lose a unit, like, when you, when you, when, and, like, when a caster says, like, well, they shouldn't have lost that unit, you're so, you're so busy doing other, other shit going down on the screen, like, you just don't know what's going on, and, like, losing a goon, like, the players that can actually save those units and, like, actually save them and stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's phenomenal play, I mean, I, I, just want to en emphasize that a lot because, well, yeah. Oh, he's gonna be able to bomb this. Well, oh, is he gonna fodder the? Phew. I was gonna say if he if he fodders the, uh, I thought the siege thing might get shot off at the reaver, but then I'm like, well, it's on top of there. And I want to say that breach has expanded in the top in the top left. I believe he has expanded in the top left. And the shuttle, the speed shuttle, has something, and I believe it has a reaver in it. And the expansion is going up in the top left-hand corner. And what's this? We have some kind of, like, weird, like, small force of units. This is such an interesting game. And yeah, well, it looks like, well, this is good for Reach right now, getting, maybe potentially sending off a tank, uh, but it doesn't look like the goons will pursue it. Which honestly, I think it's just, uh, I just don't, uh, tanks, I figure, I, I, I feel like you should pursue if you can kill them. Oh, but that forge is going to be in range. Oh, so he's not going to be able to get upgrades. And uh, did he scan on the high ground or is he, how do you have high ground vision? And why do we have, like, a backward shot of him? Well, I mean... It was kind of hard to tell what was going on, because they kind of changed it at the most important part of the game. But at the end of the day, mines blew up the whole army of Gundam, I believe. And what is with the bear? Like... This is why Old School Brood Wars entertaining. Like, we saw some random hatcher in the center of the map. Boxer versus uh, Go Rush, and then for defense purposes, now we have like a random gateway. I get the point because it's a, it's an island map. You don't want to spend APM going to and from and lifting, elevating your units down. Of course, that's not something you want to do. But uh, guns, unfortunate, and I just don't get how he has high ground vision. I I don't get this. Does he is he scanning or is he just? Because the goons weren't initially firing, but I mean, they have high ground vision, so I mean, this, I mean, Reach is in a good position to defend this, and with with goons, I mean, he's doing a, an excellent job with it, uh, and he's continuing to get more turrets up just to be a douchebag, but I, I want to, I also want to emphasize, though, that Terran off of one base here, and I think an issue that might run into... Gangnam is a Gundam, Gun Gundam, Gundam, V Gundam, Gundam, Gundam. I I think what might what what might happen is that he may not be able to locate a base. I mean, he's like, this is if you're from StarCraft Two, it's it's very similar to like a one one one. I mean, it is a one one one. You get a bunker, you get tanks, and then you get your your dropships to elevator in. Um, in StarCraft 2, it's just a more of a bitch to deal with as you have banshees and shit to deal with, but because um, wraiths aren't really good for a 1-1-1. And he's going to elevate goons. 
into the main base where there's already a freaking huge amount of turrets and tanks. And I don't know what's going on at that like weird expansion at like the 10 or 11, but I think there's an expansion going down there. And uh, I think it's like a little bit miscalculation from Reach right now because I, well, maybe, maybe, no, no. This is a miscalculation by Reach. This, the, he's not going to do anything. I th he Did he kill the depot? I don't think he even... No, I don't think he actually did anything with that drop. So I have... I just don't know what he was thinking. No, proxy starports. Okay, so we're going to have a three-base... Three-base... Um, car three-base carrier build. Two-base carriers can work as well. Um, with this tech not being shown to Gundam it can be an issue but look at this though Gundam has found this base stopped all mining and oh ho, ho, I don't know if he's in range of the starports or the fleet beacon but oh this is just oh look at that face by reach right now he's just not happy at all I mean can you blame him he's like his whole build is just dying through the roof. It's like, well, Terran, it's like, well, it's like, I'm going to continue pressure this base right here. I'm going to stop that natural of yours from going down. And I think finally Terran has expanded expand to his natural. I think he's finally done that. But that, that, but that one pylon is just going to go down. So, I mean, you're not going to be able to produce carriers. And I have to assume that he's in range of that. He knows that there is some proxy starport. Which either means one of two things. One, it could be mass scout, which is probably like 0.01%. Or, it's carrier transition, which is kind of a meta thing to do. And even had to force the cancel on the Nexus, like... I on the... I would have thought Gundam would have been in... Gundam would have been in some trouble here. But, now Reach is like, has... Is just in not in a good scenario at all. Tyrant's off a of two base... He's off a of one base, or one, or like one base with two gas, which is okay if he wants to get storm and stuff. But I don't know. I I just don't think it's great. For <laughs> and Reach is not gonna try to take a more safer and more conservative base. Playing it a little bit safer, but I mean, I think it's just too late in, in some aspects because it's just like, well, it's just like, well, <laughs> yeah, he's killed off the top left hand base. So, I mean, he's really left, and that's tech. I mean, that's tech that he now has to remake because it doesn't matter if the tech's still alive or not. I mean, he can't build out of it. And the other thing is, like, it now just provides th th the comfort to Gundam. It's like, well, I now know he can go carriers, so I may, may want to make Goliath. And I mean, at this time, he's going to take a third base. And trying to put down more, like, I don't want to call them proxy gateways because they're not. But, oh, uh, this is just, oh, uh, well, drop shots though might come and save the day if they're full of stuff. No, they're not. And it, I, Gundam is just going to clean this up. Um, in the current position of, of, uh, uh, what's his name, Reach, I just don't think, like, putting gateways in the center of the map is really something that you should be doing. Especially when your army is not even elevated out of your main base, and on top of that, uh, when Terran has center map control, like, it's just not an area where you, where you really want to be at, and especially put gateways down. I get the thought process, it just doesn't make sense. And losing two zealots unwillingly is just silly. Like, you didn't even waste a spider mine. Alright, here we go. But no arbiter tech to help out. Dropships are coming in here. Spider mines are going to try to drag. Um, not as many, but oh, ho, look at this. Reach is going to be able to break through this. Very surprising, but well played indeed. Um, not, not too many spider mines still defend the tanks. Um, but hell, it worked. Hmm. 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 
Oh, uh oh. But uh, I mean, we what do we have? Three base Terran versus two base Protoss, which may even be a one base now, because the main bases are probably mined out at this point. And we're just gonna have a slow push. Well, he's, he's a hard slow push. What I mean is that he's gonna like make turrets. He's gonna you know siege, unsiege, like leapfrogs away to his opponent, pretty much. And the only saving grace I think that Reach might have is one, well, two. One, if he can like really, really cost-effectively deal with a mech army, but that with gateway units is really difficult. And to top that off, or to top, or to top that, you could just try to get away with like taking like two hidden expos, and then hopefully that the economy will kick in beforehand. But that's just risky. And he's just gonna go with a ton of dropships, and I know how uh, just damn like how much HP dropships have. It's ridiculous, um, especially if you hallucinate them, and it's just all that fun from Catch of the Flag. But oh no, why would you go to a picture of him now? Oh, I just put in like the corner or something. But oh, Bio and TVP, man, I am liking Gundam more and more. Just because he's going by a slight bio. Hmm. Very interesting. But this is pretty one sided, I I, I, I I would say. Um I mean he's mined out off of one base. He's only mining off of He's only off of one base at this time. And for whatever reason we have bio. <laughs> Which is really awesome. Like, I really like this. <laughs> and that's CV. Like, he's actually going, like, bio-mech. Like, the, like, with vultures. It's really cool. Does he win with it? I mean, Stim is, un is amazing against gateway units. The problem is Reavers are just, like, well... You want you you want bio? Well, watch this happen. If if he shoots it, <laughs> you'll just watch like f like ten marines just die to this one. Yep, here we go. Goodbye. Like reavers are on the bane of my existence because I always try to go bio. Uh, it just doesn't work. And we have a fourth base being established right now. Apparently, four probes are like, yo, dude, you can't take this base. Actually, he's in a position where he could probably just kill off, like, any SCV that just pops out of that and just delay, just deny mining with four probes. Which, if that's intentional, that's really awesome. But the only thing is, like, you have to send, like, a unit there and they, the four probes just die. And we have another engagement here. And there is a nice spread on the tanks right here, but I'm more interested in the bio in the storm. Oh, not the best storms, but does clean it up. Which does remain the tanks here, but the tanks, or the, the job of the tanks in bio, bio mech against Protoss is to target fire those, uh, those, uh, High Templar, because it only takes, I think, two shots to, to pot shot one of those guys to the, to Doomsday. And... Reach is doing fair. I mean, like, very effective against Gundam. I just think, I think if this was a, a, a different map where it wasn't so heavily favored to Terran and the circumstances were different altogether, I think Reach, if these players had a rematch, I would think Gundam would probably lose. Um, I would, I say Reach is playing this game very, very, very well. That's just just my own opinion. And I thought it was a fake by by uh, Reach right there, but Reach has nothing left. He actually has nothing left. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh no! And the tank does go down. Pro does next is being warped in at this time. I don't want to call this game, but four SCVs versus four probes, um, with repair, with increased HP, with higher attack rate. I don't know, guys. It's it's not. And here we go. 
It's it it's SCV rushing. What? That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, oh, we have another drop here. The Reaver and the Archon are gonna do a good amount of damage right here. Oh, not not the best Scarab. But can Reach actually get himself a victory here? I mean, it just doesn't seem like Gundam is doesn't have a lot. I think it's just partially because he's just remaxing, and he's just I don't know. I don't think we've been given a camera shot of his army. We've had this like ongoing SCV battle in the bottom right. We have these ongoing dropships, which I absolutely love by uh, by Reach right here. Just such continuous dropship play, and look at that! Just finally got to kill off this base, and but in reality, how many probes really does does uh, Reach have? That's a question that I ask. Oh, that's just mean. I would say to make this map like a little bit more balanced, like don't don't put in like vulture range of a mineral line on the on the high ground. Like that's just silly. And sieging like your one mining base. Uh, like there's no like tangible third base. <laughs> like there's none. It's just this is the most. This is such a terrible map for expansions. It's entertaining. Because it's like, what can you do with your army? And I, I might have been giving... I still want to give credit, though, to Reach, though. I mean, he has done amazing against his deficit right now. I mean, look how large Gundam's army has been for every engagement. And then look at the units that, <laughs> that Reach has used to take it out. It's just quite... I'd even say laughable, but I, I mean, Gundam's not a terrible player either. I mean, he got, it, he's in, well, I mean, this is the group stages of round 16. I don't know if there was, I don't, I think this was just 16 invited players. As it was the earlier part of Kespa. If it was, I'm not even sure if this was Kespa. Oh, the storm! Oh, nice reaction though by, um, uh, Gundam. Gundam, Gundam. I'm being influenced by... Society by calling it by calling him Gundam, not G Gundam. But oh, is he gonna take the center base? What a legend! What a legend, indeed. <laughs> that one lone high Templar. Ah, oh, that's a Miss Rally. Wow. That is, that is quite, quite sad. <laughs> it's like, well, I know there's a high temple there. I'm gonna go manually click a tank there to kill it, but I'm just gonna sit there and take the whole storm. Uh, just kill them all. I mean, honestly, Reach. I think it's like. This game has been so over for so long, but you're like boss. You're like bo there's the GG. I'm saying you're like boxer, and hmm. it did, it did Reach doesn't look devastated at all. Gundam was. I mean, like there's like Gundam's happy, but Reach should not look devastated at all. He's like whatever. I lost, like whatever, like no big deal. And that will conclude game or group B. Um, I don't think we really need to listen to these Korean commentators for a whole another minute longer. So I will do group C next after I take a quick bathroom break and that will be Sigmari versus Lee. So that'll be entertaining. All right guys, so Puka, uh, we'll be right back for, or tomorrow rather, for your next game. Peace guys.